Okay, this will be a quick demonstration on uh, Jing, on TechSmith's new application, uh, Jing, for screen capturing. So up here, you can once you install it, you have this little sun uh, that's up here with um, three little rays, I guess you'd call them, as you hover over them. Um, you can take this and you can move it around the screen. You can put it anywhere you want. Uh, and it just kind of sits there out of the way. And when you need it again, you just hover right over it. I'm going to bring it right back up here to the top again. Um, the main part of it that you'll use is the capture portion. So I'll just go ahead and click that. And in a second here, you're going to see uh, the crosshairs. And I can go ahead and say, let's just drag right over the image and select what I want. And as soon as I let go, it's actually captured the uh, image. I can choose capture image or capture video. We'll, we'll do video in a second. So I'm going to click capture. All right, now this opens up. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this window that's behind it just so we can see a little easier. And so here's the image that we captured. As you can see right down here, we can name it. So we can count, uh, call this uh, uh, mountain scene. And uh, we've got some other buttons down here. We can share via screencast. So if you've got a screencast account, you just simply click this button. It automatically logs you in. Um, publishes it online, gives you a short URL that you can email to somebody or anybody to uh, view the this image. You get two gigabytes worth of free space right off the bat. Um, you can also of course save the image and uh, you can copy it. So if I chose copy right now I could um, let's say open up uh, let's open up um, WordPad. We should be able to copy it into that. So accessories and WordPad. And we're going to have, we'll go ahead and right click, choose paste. And so there we go. We pasted it right in there. It could have been an email. We pasted this into a Word document, um, PowerPoint, whatever you wanted to paste this into. I'm not going to save the changes. Now I can go right back to that image that I had. I can go up to here to history and there you can see it is right here. Um, when I hover over it, it comes up with some details. And if I click on it, you get some other icons down here to choose from. So we'll choose View. And we're right back into that nifty little window we started with where we could share the screencast or save it or copy it. So let's go ahead and mark it up. Um, so we're going to go ahead, we'll start with uh, an arrow. And let's just drag this arrow to here just like that. Now I can take this arrow, I can move it around after it's in place. I can uh, of course turn it, do whatever I want, shorten it. I can even change its color by clicking on the color to, uh, tool thing here. And of course it's customized where you can pick your own colors. Um, let's go ahead and insert a text box. And uh, so we'll go ahead and insert it right here. And let's just say check out this rainbow and at the box you can go you can uh, control how big the font is or how large it is you can control what color the text is so it's very easy very intuitive on, on how to use this go ahead and resize this back down um, you don't get any formatting inside of here that I've been able to figure out though in terms of uh, um, bold or italics or anything like that. But you do get to choose fonts. So here's your complete list of fonts. Pretty nice. Okay. And uh, let's see here. What else can we do? Oh, we've got a highlighting tool right here. So let's click our highlighter and um, uh, probably be better to use on text or something, but you'll get the idea. I can go ahead and highlight. I can adjust the size of the portion that I've highlighted. Click off of it and we're good to go. And then um, finally, I can actually frame something. So I can click on the frame icon and um, you know frame whatever object I want on the screen. I can just keep framing away. If I don't want it, just click on it, press the delete key. Uh, when you're all done, you simply have your options, share via screencast or save it. Um, 
You can edit it and snag it. So if you've got Snagit, another TechSmith product that's not free, you can actually open this up and do further editing. Uh, you can cancel. Um, you can actually customize what buttons that you have showing up down here. For instance, I have one on mine uh, on another desktop where I can upload this to an FTP server. Um, so right now, let's just click uh, Save. And it asks me where I want to save it. This looks like a good place. Okay, and as you can see, it still stays here in my history. Next, we'll use Jing to record, uh, do a video screen capture. So let's open up uh, Internet Explorer here. And um, what we're going to do is use it to, we'll just uh, capture some of the links that we visit here. So there's Jing up here. We're going to click on the capture button. And if you see the crosshairs once again, of course. Now, what you can also do is use it to kind of snap to a window. So right about here, you can see it's actually got a frame around this whole window. And if I just click, I don't even have to drag this around the window. It just grabs that as the window. There you go. And you can see the nice border around it. And then here's our options, capture image or uh, capture video. We're going to do capture video. And you can see that it will record the mic if I have the mic on, uh, which I don't have a mic in that situation. So we're just going to click on a couple uh, links here. And uh, we can scroll down the page a little bit. Just like in our... So we're actually capturing video of what we're doing right here. You can do up to five minutes is the limit. And we'll just do the back button and this will be our capture here. It'll end right here. And to end it, you just go right down over here and you click Stop. And then you're going to see Jing open up here. And you can see the big play button for our video. So I'm just going to go back over here and let's just get rid of our Internet Explorer window. So you can see, as before, we have an option to name our video. So let's just uh, call it uh, Test Video capture and uh, we can share it via screencast or we can save it uh, edit it in Camtasia Studio if you have that um, if you save it it's gonna because I don't have Jing Pro it'll save it as an SWF file which is um, a flash file if I had Jing Pro it would allow me to choose to save it to uh, MP4 we'll go ahead and so you can see what the dialog box looks like and uh, you only have one option here. Uh, so let's go ahead and save it for now, just for the heck of it, so you can see what that looks like. And it says it's been saved and the link is ready to be posted. Okay, so if we go up here to Jing and we go to History, let's just click Video, and I believe it's this one here, and let's do a View. We can make sure it is. Sure looks like the one to me. And yes, this is the one. And I'm going to choose this time share via screencast. So because I have a screencast account, you can see this video automatically loading, uploading itself to screencast.com for me to share with anybody that I choose. Okay, so let's just capture is sent. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And it opens up the Screencast website for my account. And there is our video. Um, let's go ahead and just play this. And there we are, live on the internet. It's playing.